Dear friends, welcome back again into my another lecture. So we are discussing the new model question paper uh, for the mathematics subject third semester CSE stream students uh, and allied branches, right? Uh, so subject code is BCS301. This is the last question of the model four. Question number eight C. Consider the sample consisting of nine numbers that is 45, 47, 50, 52, 48, 47, 49, 53 and 51. The sample is drawn from a population whose mean is 47.5 okay find whether the sample mean differs significantly from the population mean at 5% level of significance okay so t at 5% level is given that is 2.31 so we have to check the hypothesis so first of all write down the given data suppose I will call it as x so x is equal to 45 47 50 likewise okay I am calling it as x so I can calculate the mean from this particular observation so x bar is equal to 1 divided by n summation of x so this is the formula which we have okay while solving while solving the t distribution problems 1 divided by 9 and summation of x means you have to sum up these terms okay 45 plus 47 like that you will get the summation as a uh, total value as x bar is equal to 49.1 okay this is the mean now we have the variance uh, we have the formula for s square or sometimes it is denoted by sigma square okay which is equal to 1 divided by n minus 1 summation of x minus x bar whole square this is the formula which we have for the variance which is equal to 1 upon 8 this is n value is 9 in the given problem see here 9 numbers are there okay uh, sorry 9 a sample consists of oh, yes 9 numbers so we have n is equal to 9 so 9 minus 1 is 8 okay summation of x minus x bar so what is the x value 45 x bar is 49.1 so 45 minus 49.1 whole square plus we have to take the summation 47 minus 49.1 whole square 50 minus 49.1 whole square then 52 minus uh, 49.1 whole square then 48 uh, yes uh, 48 minus 49.1 whole square okay so likewise you have to take the summation 47 minus 49.1 whole square 49 point uh, sorry 49 minus 49.1 whole square plus 53 minus 49.1 whole square plus 51 minus 49.1 whole square this is the summation of x minus x bar okay while just calculating this much you will get sigma square is equal to 6.8625 so simply sigma you will get under root of square if you are sh shifting on the right hand side you will get root of 6.86 so sigma value is equal to 2.61 okay now we have the formula for the <coughs> t distribution and also mu is given in the problem 47.5 see here the, uh, the sample is drawn from a population whose mean is 47.5 5. okay so mu i can take 47.5 we have the formula t is equal to x bar minus mu divided by sigma by root n so x bar we have calculated that is your 49.1 so 49.1 minus 47.5 divided by sigma value we have calculated here that is your 2.61 okay 2.61 divided by root of n n is the total number that is 9 so t you will get 1.83 as in the given problem it is mentioned that at 5% level of significance we have the 2.31 value okay but we are getting 1.83 I can write down t is equal to 1.83 is less than the 2.31 at 5% level of significance therefore we can conclude that our hypothesis will be accepted in this case okay so this much is the solution for this particular problem I hope this is clear to you people and I want all of you should get out of out in this particular subject so I wish you all the best for your examinations thank you